in the essence of being clear and uh, in our world gone crazy, uh, do you believe that the laws on homicide should be applied to all people, namely, do you support the laws of equal protection for the preborn from fertilization, which is conception, where we start the birth of life, everything, pro-life thing, by criminalizing the act of prenatal homicide, thereby abolishing abortion? And at the end, this law would not be retroactive. I know that's probably the biggest controversial thing. So. What is your thought on that? Thank you. Thank you for the question. I heard your voice, but the distance is such I can't see your face. I want to say to you again, thank you for your service and your partnership as a Southern Baptist. Uh, you asked a full and, 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 and clearly a, a, a complicated question, but let me answer you with as much forthrightness as I can in this moment. Number one, I believe life is sacred from the womb to the tomb, from conception to natural death. Number two, I do believe that the taking of life in the womb, morally speaking, is tantamount to murder. And so I am against abortion. I have been pro-life since my earliest years. I grew up in a pro-life home, have served in pro-life churches, and have been a part of the pro-life cause. Thirdly, do I believe in places where abortion has been outlawed, praise God, those places are growing, do I believe that, that some sort of, uh, where the law has been violated, if that violation criminal punishment may be brought. The answer is I do believe that may be appropriate and is indeed appropriate. If you're asking me if I believe that the random 17-year-old girl or the random 25-year-old lady, for whatever reason, had an abortion, if I believe, and I'm willing to say to you today before God's people that I believe they should be prosecuted for murder, like one who would take the life of someone outside the womb, if that is exactly the same, I cannot make that commitment to you in this moment, brother. Amen.